What's going on everybody, Dangerous Thing here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very special episode of Bloons Shenanigans because today I am playing against one of the members of my Boom Beach Task Force. Now, meet, meet my friend Dig here who was the very first person from my task force to successfully add me to um, Monkey Shenanigans because I've been having issues with my game center lately. So we actually connected on Facebook and now we are playing Bloons TV Battles. So this map here is painfully familiar to me and by painfully familiar to me I mean I think I kind of know my way around it. I am going to opt in for my all time favorites, uh, Submarines, Apprentice and um, instead of Engineer I am using a Ninja monkey here today so um, let's take a look at what the strategy is on Dig's end because I am pretty sure he's just uh, yeah I mean that was really risky he waited for all those balloons to get down to such a low level before he actually placed his tower that is really really um, risky of him not gonna lie but hey if he likes to live dangerously I'm not gonna blame him because after all I'm the dangerous thing so I am just gonna go ahead and work on maxing out both of of my towers right now I'm gonna try to max out my um, my apprentice first because that is probably one of the most important towers in my opinion on this map now I may be mistaken but it definitely helps to have the lightning spell because of the area of the coverage and I really should have put the apprentice a little bit closer towards the middle so you can reach the left um, flank as well because uh, right where the eco score is, that's where all of the um, opponent's um, balloons are going to come out of. But I think the coverage is still pretty decent, so I am okay with that for now. Now the next thing to work on is obviously getting my submarines to a ballistic missile because that's where it's going to help me to not only destroy camos, regens, but also destroy leads. Leads are like my nemesis. Every time... You know, I, I start playing. I totally forget about the leads, uh, especially when, um, you know, when I only have one apprentice tower and surely it's great, but leads can definitely escape it, especially if, you know, they're being sent out from both ends. And I just, I just like to play safe when it comes to balloons because, you know, you blink and next thing you know, game over, baby. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, I'm always pretty mindful of the spacing on my submarines, but sometimes make mistakes like here, I could have been a little bit tighter in placing submarines in the little pond of water, but I made that mistake and I'm just going to try to learn from my mistakes in this one and not do that again, because I feel like I could have fit probably two more subs if I just like, uh, space them a little bit tighter and looks like to uh, today. Right now, I'll only gonna be, I'm only going to be able to place three subs max. So we shall see how that is going to work out for me. And if you guys remember, a few days ago, I posted a video of me playing in the arena for medallions. And I actually was given uh, a, an agent monkey. An agent monkey is probably one of the best monkeys to have with you when you're going in the arena. Because if you remember, as you keep upgrading the Agent Monkey, what it does is it basically takes um, the eco, not the eco, takes the health um, from your opponent and whenever, you, whenever it takes from your opponent, it basically adds it on top of your score. So um, I believe you are being taken away two points at a time and take a look at that. Dig actually got an Agent Monkey sitting right over there comfortably next to a ninja and you know what that means that means that no matter how this game is gonna go I need to find his weak spot in order for me not to run out of my 
uh, my safety points. I don't even know what they're called, to be honest with you. I probably should have looked it up before I started this. But just now, I lost two points, and he's still sitting there at 150. Now, if he was losing points, those two points that he's taking from me would be adding to him. You get what I'm talking about. It's a very simple math. But basically, I need to figure out what weaknesses he has so that I can start bombarding him so that it's it's basically like a race. It's a matter of time. Who is going to go down first? Me, if I find his weak spot? Uh, or him if I find his weak spot, or me because he is taking away two points from me every time his agent monkey grabs them and like, you know, sends his little heart out there. Now, it's really awesome when you have an agent monkey, not so much when you're going against someone who's got an agent monkey. Let me tell you, I right now am definitely sweating bullets. And yeah, I mean, totally, totally uncool. I mean, it is cool when you have it, I'm cool when you go in against someone who's got the agent monkey. And I just so happen to be the least fortunate one of the two in this particular situation. So I'm kind of panicking. Round 18, I need to figure out what I can do to get Dig going and, you know, I mean, pun intended, dig him in. Uh, but he just got another agent monkey, you guys. I think my hours, and by hours, I mean my minutes here, are probably coming down to an end pretty, pretty soon. I mean, look at that. I'm sitting at 138 right now, 136. He just, oh my God, I'm dropping them, dropping, dropping like flies. Unbelievable. I mean, the game is going to get, you know, faster, more difficult, you know, balloons are going to start coming in that are like leads, camos, regens, and those giant ones, you know, that takes like 50 pops to actually pop, and then from one big one, you get another 300 baby balloons. So basically, I'm sweating bullets. This is definitely not a good place to be, especially when you're a super competitive person, which I don't know if you've noticed, but I definitely am a competitive person. I hate losing. I hate, hate, hate losing. And here it goes again. Oh, those Asian monkeys are totally killing me, literally speaking and figuratively speaking. My heart is dying inside just a little bit every single time they produce the little red heart and take two points over me just like he did right now. Oh my gosh, it's so sad, you guys. I cannot take it. I cannot watch it. He is still sitting there at 150, no matter what I do, it's just impossible. And you know, and I can't really be playing defensively right now because the only way for me to win this one is just to completely annihilate him with balloons. But I'm just, I, I, I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm trying to put the pieces together. And this is the first time I'm going against someone who's got the agent monkey. So super new to me learning experience times million and I'm struggling with keeping up with all the balloons that are coming down at me let alone thinking of what balloons to send to him and of course he presses the little red button well guess what I'm gonna press it back at you coming right back at you oh my gosh you guys we're getting close to a hundred and that's where I'm gonna get really really nervous 102 right now and basically I got a few minutes to go unbelievable like, there's no way that I'm gonna make it out alive he's still sitting there at 150 he has not at all been sweating. He's just enjoying his time there and enjoying my misery. Well, let me tell you, buddy, next time, maybe just maybe, I'll get an agent monkey and then we will see who will be in trouble. Whew, okay, let's send him some balloons. Let's get let's get some ego so I can save up the money and send him a giant balloon, which I don't know whether or not it's gonna help me. Oh my gosh, I am below 100 right now. 94, you guys, this is not gonna end well. 90, jeez, jeez, man, have some compassion for me here. First time going against someone with Agent Monkey, and look at that, I am just absolutely miserable. I don't even know why I'm upgrading my tower right now. I should be spending all my money just sending balloons to him. But I am so discombobulated, I don't even know what to do with myself. Oh my gosh, 86, you guys. 86 left. I am losing. Look at that red bar. It's just progressing closer and closer and closer. And all these red balloons coming. 
and oh my gosh oh my gosh 82 i am just officially saying you guys i am not gonna have this one in the bag i'm definitely losing on this one and i hope at least you enjoyed watching an episode of pure dangerous thing misery because i have done nothing but suffered through this one and in case you guys don't know what agent monkey abilities are do check it out because next time if you're playing in the battle and you have one you will know that you have a huge advantage so yeah just watch me lose right here you know soak it in soak it in watch me lose and i hope you guys will tune in for the next video until then dangerous thing is out